Hello everyone. So today I'm gonna talk about a little bit of the remote photo shoots since uh, everyone has to be sheltered in place, stay at home. Um, uh, I just try one shoot today. Uh, so here are some thoughts. Uh, I'm gonna talk about some thoughts that I'm gonna uh, encounter. And um, first, I'm gonna talk about two video apps. Uh, the first one is the FaceTime using the FaceTime, and then the Zoom video for the Android user. If you are the photographer using iOS or the model is using Android, you can use Zoom video option. I will talk more detail on that. And then lastly, I will talk about the editing tool. So first, I'm getting into the FaceTime. FaceTime has the option. Uh, if you are the iOS user, you know that uh, there's a direct uh, shutter option. You can just take picture from the model's camera. So and then, but the picture will save on your own phone. Uh, so that's the advantage of that and be sure to use the rear camera for better image quality you can ask the model to switch to the rear camera and use a tripod uh, to, to stable the camera or if the model has some other person to help out for the framing without the tripod uh, you can ask the other person to frame uh, for you and uh, keep in mind that uh, today uh, when we were shooting we noticed the iPhone 11 Pro that which has the ultra wide angle one uh, the wide angle was always ultra wide angle was always activated uh, and I researched online uh, they said it, it was fixed uh, after 13.3.1 version just make sure you check the uh, version of your model's uh, iOS system just to make sure that uh, it's not too wide because uh, it was stretching a lot so next i just get a couple sample image uh, you can see that the face time image is very uh, long because it's the whole uh, phone uh, length of the phone so that's why you can see that it stretched all the way to the top and uh, that's why you need more room to crop sometimes if it's too close you can get a lot uh, cropped out so keep in mind that maybe around 60% of the image to keep uh, in this image so a little bit of the tree uh, from the tree side to keep and then uh, that's it so, and this is another sample image I, I left a lot of uh, headroom to crop later so that's why I keep in mind that later on what what's gonna crop uh, uh, like later on when I'm doing editing so so next for the zoom video uh, zoom meeting uh, screen sharing you can use uh, what I'm gonna do is I ask the model to uh, screen share from her phone so for example if I'm using iOS and then she's using uh, Android you create a zoom video meeting and then once she's in ask her to share the screen the disadvantage is there's no direct control of the shutter but uh, you can uh, ask the person to uh, share the screen then ask the person to open up the camera app for framing to set the countdown on the camera app so you can uh, assume the uh, you you ask the model you put the phone on the tripod already so um, directly on the phone image is better than the uh, FaceTime image next I'm gonna tell so some screen on how to enable so uh, on the zoom video app uh, you choose the top option when you click the share in the center choose the top option saying uh, screen after that uh, choose the zoom uh, for screen broadcast so choose uh, if you have couple options here choose the zoom option uh, and then screen bring uh, start start the broadcast then ask the model to open the camera app uh, you because you can see after the um, after the sharing the screen you can ask the model to open the app and then set as a 10 second shutter then you can start framing through uh, what you see here and then you can um, start uh, once you find out the nice uh, composition then just uh, ask the model to come uh, to press the 10 second countdown then go back to using the same uh, pose 
that you you found nicely then um, that's it after that you can uh, transfer the photo using Dropbox or other uh, file sharing app to have a better image uh, quality and um, for editing video I'm using Visco Visco editing using a different film filter right now I'm on the Visco X uh, subscription I have access to all the filters in Visco I uh, currently as you see in the screen on the right right here uh, these are my favorite filters G7, U3, HB2, E5, A4, C1 these are the one that I like uh, in most of my images so U3 I have been using a lot recently so you can try it out if you have a subscription if you don't have subscription you can just try out the other one uh, like C1 like that uh, after that, I uh, tried the Un Unfold app. Uh, my friend told me this app. Uh, my friend Erica told me this app. So it's pretty cool. I bought two sets of uh, framing, frame framing. You can choose uh, different frames. So you can just, um, this is FF1, FF2, frame frames one, frame frames two. If you scroll down in the store, it's, I think it costs $1.99 per package. You can just buy these two packages if you want. Then um, open the App Store or Play Store in uh, search Unfold app. And then you can uh, download this app in your phone and then to edit. And um, after that, I can put uh, different images, uh, combination. Uh, that's it. Um, so that's a quick uh, rundown of uh, what I have today and um, Just based on your situation you can uh, choose what app you're gonna use even iOS user can use zoom video if you want a better quality image But uh, the disadvantage you have to set a timer from the model side. So that's the trade-off and thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more video coming up Bye